Hello guys, good evening. Hello, sir. Yeah. Okay, just check what have we done last class. Okay, just one minute, we'll start. Okay. Do you have any exam going on in the school? Oh well, yes, sir. we have the semesters. Going on? Yes, sir. Chemistry, it is done or you have to write? The next exam. Next? Yeah. What is the portion? So full organic, I think. Full organic? Yeah. And solid state and uh, coordination. Okay. And all this. And DNF now. DNF block is also there. So DNP. Okay. So last class we had discussed 
Okay, so last class we had discussed about the various types of urate cell. Okay, FCC, BCC, HCP also we have discussed and we have also discussed the arrangement of atoms like ABC, AB type arrangement we had discussed. Location of void also we have done. So today we are going to see the ionic crystals. This part actually you have to you know, memorize because you know the position of cations and anions you have to keep in mind because based on this only they frame questions in the exam. So uh, understanding is not very much uh, required over here. If you know the position, suppose NaCl, the example I'm considering, if you know the position of Na plus and Cl minus in NaCl crystal, based on that you can do all the questions. Okay, so here you have to just memorize the position of cations and anions. I want to show you some questions here. One sec. Okay, try this question first. This one.
Dan Oke. Okay. No, it's not that here. Yeah. No, it's not that also, Ruchir. Yeah, Ruchir, you got it right. Ruchir Singh, you got it right. Ruchir Parikh, that is not correct. See, this question why I've given you here, that the kind of question that they ask here, you should know the position of these voids and that we had discussed already last class. Yeah, that's correct, Pradyut. Yeah. See, answer is C here, A, B. Okay. Let's see, I'll do this. A compound is made up of particles A and B. A forms FCC packing. Okay. So when it says FCC packing, it means A is forming FCC packing or they can also say CCP. Both are same thing. Okay, FCC or CCP packing, it means this A is present at corners and plus face center. Corner plus face center. B occupies all octahedral void. So B is present in octahedral void and we know the position of octahedral voids that is there at the body center plus at the edge center. Okay. So you imagine the cube where the body center we have B and at center we have B again. If all the particles along the plane as shown in figure uh, below are removed. Now this plane you see how this plane uh, looks like. This looks like you see the room in which you are sitting in. Any you see any top edge you take. Any one top edge. And you come you know you consider a plane which passes through that edge and it comes diagonally opposite to the another plane, another edge, opposite side. So from the top to bottom, diagonally you have to come, like the edge that you have. Means what? You consider this edge and draw a plane like this, along this edge. So this plane you see, this plane obviously it passes through the two cornered atoms here, two cornered atoms here, and these are the face centered atom. Yes or no? Of this face and this face. And along with this face center, it also passes through the body center. Yes or no? Yes. Correct. So if you imagine that plane from the top edge, to the diagonally opposite edge, the plane that is coming down. Okay. This plane is passing through the body center, right? And the two face center, two cornered atoms we have here. Two plus two, four cornered atoms here. So could you tell me how many A atoms have been removed? How many A atoms have been removed? 1.5. Four cornered A and two face centered A have been removed. Right? So out of six face center, two have been removed. So the contribution of A, if you see here, that would be two face center have been removed. So four into one by two and four corner atoms have been removed. So four into one by eight. Is it correct? Yes. So it is so, two and half. Three by two, is it? Sorry, two and half means five by two. Correct? Yes, sir. If you talk about B here. So what do we two into half? Huh? Yes, only two uh, sorry come centers. come again only, yeah only two face centers right yeah two face center have been removed so what you wrote four into half your your voice is so well, it should be only two into half only two no, face no two into half has been removed i am considering the contribution okay okay i am considering the, you what you do you can consider two into half and then you can subtract right I am directly con uh, you know, considering here the contribution of A in the unit cell. Okay. 
So out of six phase center A atom, two has been removed. So, I, so, so we are left with only four phase center and four corners. Is it fine now? Yes, sir. Yes. Right? So five by two is the contribution of A in the unit cell. Similarly, the contribution of B is what? Two edge center has been removed and one body center. Means three B has been removed, right? So out of 12 edges, right? Out of 12 edges, two edge center has been removed. So 10 is left. Contribution of edge center is one by four. That is it because body center has also been removed. So it is what? It is again five by two, you see we are getting. So the formula is what? Formula is AB. Understood? Clear? So this is the easier way, I think. I usually do like this only. I just count the contribution of atoms in the unit cell and the ratio finally. Otherwise, you, you can also count whatever the contribution we had initially and after removal, like, like what part you have been removed, subtract that, you'll get the answer in that way also. But this way you can do it in one single step. Is it clear? Right? So question is not difficult. Why I have given you this question so that you can understand that how they use the concept of voids here. If you do not know that the voids are placed at the edge center, you won't be able to do this question. Understood? I'll show you two more questions here. I don't want you to solve now. We'll do this question a bit later. But just see these two questions. This one we have done. You see this one question. Don't try this. I will discuss a bit later. You see here in this question what is given? In a solid having rock salt type structure. Now the question is if you do not know what is rock salt structure, you are not able to do this question. Right. Rock salt structure if all the atoms touching the body diagonal plane are removed. So first of all you should know the rock salt structure, then only you can do this question. So for that, we are going to discuss the different types of the structure we have. Okay, one more question you see here. We'll do this question a bit later. Okay, just now you let it be this one. This question you see. It is also based upon the structure of CSCL. And that's why I said that you just need to memorize this. Uh, if you do not memorize this, logically, you cannot do this. CSCL has BC arrangement. You know what is BC arrangement? corner plus body center but if you do not know at body center what atom are present and at corners what sent what atoms are present you won't be able to do this question again okay so all these questions depends upon the structure okay so you should know all these structures so ionic structures ionic crystals we had discussed we have started last class and i have given you the radius ratio radius ratio for triangular void okay Use by the, with the help of uh, that, uh, with the help of um, what I said, the geometry, you can find out the radius ratio for different uh, kind of, uh, for different voids also, like tetrahedral we have, we have octahedral void, we have cubical void, all these things you can find out. But I'm giving you the data because derivation they have never asked. Okay, so you should know the relation here. So write down this table you draw, all of you. I'll give you the entire thing here in this table. Three, four. Okay, just a second. Um, this is the radius ratio. And then we have coordination number arrangement of anions around cations and we have some examples.
okay so the radius ratio is 0 0.155 to 0 0.225 Radius ratio means radius of cation divided by the radius of anion, which we can also write it as RC, C stands for cation, RA, A stands for anion. If this falls in this range, then the coordination number is three and the arrangement of anions around the, cation, around the cations are triangular, which we also call it as planar triangular and we get triangular void here. B2O3 is an example. Example is not important in this. If the radius, radius ratio falls in this range, so one more, we have to consider one more. Okay. Zero point 2252 0.414 coordination number is 4 arrangement is tetrahedral example is this zinc sulfide if it is from 0 0.4142 0 0.732 coordination number is 6 Arrangement is octahedral. These two are the important one, tetrahedral and octahedral, NaCl example. If it is zero point from zero point seven three two to one, coordination number eight, it is cubic, that is body centered, and it is CSCL the example we have. So this radius ratio just you have to keep in mind. Here. Copy this down. The lower limit you must take care of. To solve the question, you can equate the lower limit to solve the question. Means you can equate this to radius ratio should be equals to 0.225, should be equals to 0.414 you can take. So lower limit you can equate in all these things. Did you finish it? Okay, now the structure of crystals, heading right down, structure of crystals. Uh, see, we are going to understand uh, we are going to take the reference of three types of compound. Okay. The first one is the simple ionic compounds, which is AB type. And then we have AB2 type. And next we have A2, B type. These three types of structure we have. Apart from these three, we have other structures also that we are going to see. Okay. So first write down the first one. A structure of a 
structure of simple ionic compound compound of ab type means nacl type it is ab type structure ab type structure we also call it as rock salt it rock salt or nacl type structure rock salt or nacl type structure okay example we have for this we can have oxides or oxides and sulfides of of group 2 metals of group 2 except except bes right halides of silver halides of silver except agi have this type of structure halides of alkali metals also we can consider like we have nacl it's there only lical we can consider right we can uh, also consider some examples like uh, cao all these molecules as nacl type structure okay now what is important here point wise just you write down these first point you write down in this that all and taking the reference of na plus okay if the you know the statement which i am giving you for na plus this will be true for all cations in these uh, structures right so write down all na plus all na plus ions it's surrounded by surrounded by 6 cl minus ions and each cl minus is also surrounded by surrounded by 6 na plus ions right 6 na plus ion that's why the coordination number you see for each ion it is 6 over here right write down the coordination number of each ion is 6 over here coordination number is 6 and hence this type of crystal we also call it as 6 is to 6 arrangement important this question also they ask in the exam what kind of arrangements is there 6 is to 6 arrangement okay so first we'll take first we'll take the you know the coordination number of coordination number of cation here we write first and then we'll write the coordination number of anion 6 is to 6 arrangement we have next point cl minus ion forms 
forms CCP lattice. What do you mean by CCP lattice? Face center plus corner. Okay, forms CCP lattice in which in which all octahedral void in which all octahedral void is occupied by is occupied by Na plus ion. Okay, CCP lattice in which all octahedral void is occupied by Na plus ion. I want you to tell me the number of Cl minus present in the crystal. One unit cell. Number of Cl minus and number of Na plus. Number of Cl minus and the number of Na plus because you know the position of Cl minus and Na plus. Hence, you can easily count the number of Cl minus and Na plus. Is it four? Yeah. So Cl minus occupy form CCP lattice means at corners. So eight into one by eight plus face center six into half. So we have four Cl minus present. Na plus one at the body center. Right, since octahedral void and uh, 12 edge center we have, 1 by 4 is a contribution, so it is 4. Since Na plus and Cl minus we have equal in number, that's why the molecular formula is NaCl and hence the structures. Right, should be equal. Then only it satisfies the crystal. Okay, that's one thing. Now, if you look at the position of all these ions, so what we can write, suppose all these are Cl minus. Right, it is present here, diagonally opposite. This is Cl minus. Okay, and here also we have two Cl minus. I'm just drawing one phase here. Oh. One second. This is the face of the unit cell, right? All these are edge center, right? So here we have Na plus ion present, cations. Here we have Na plus ion present, cations. Here also we have Na plus ion present. And here also we have Na plus ion present. Okay, so if you look at this distance, if you look at this distance, this is the edge length. Right, so edge length is A. So if I ask you to write down A in terms of radius, what would you write? A is equals to, we can write 2R plus the radius of cation, this distance, plus 2R minus the radius of anion, which is this distance. Yes, so the radius of cation plus the radius of anion R plus plus R minus is equals to A by 2, right? Okay, if I ask you 
a in terms of uh, the radius of anion, you can think of this distance. This is the phase diagonal, yes or no? This is the phase diagonal. So we can write 4r minus is equals to root under 2a. Okay, so a we know in terms of r minus, and hence any one thing if you know out of this three r plus r minus a, you can find out all the three here with this relation. Clear, no doubt? Yes, tell me. Correct. Now, if you have to find out the packing fraction of the crystal, right? Method is exactly same. You need to find out the volume occupied by the atom. Here we don't have atom, but we have ions. So volume occupied by the ions divided by the volume of the unit cell. Okay. Usually they don't ask this question, uh, you know, to find out the packing fraction, but you should know the method how to do it. Okay, it's not that tough. I'll just do it for this one. For all other crystals, we are not going to discuss this thing again. Okay, because it is not that important. But you never know it's there in the portion. So what they're going to do in the exam, you never know. So how to find out the packing fraction of the crystal of NaCl here. So again, the packing fraction would be equals to the volume occupied by by Na plus plus volume occupied by by Cl minus and this whole thing is divided by the volume of the cube that is A cube. Now we have 4 Na plus so volume will be 4 into 4 by 3 pi R plus cube plus 4 into 4 by 3 pi r minus cube divided by a cube. r plus r minus all those ratio uh, relation you have already. I have given you in the previous slide. Okay. Based on the data, you can find out this thing, right? So expression would be this 4 into 4 by 3 pi r plus cube plus R minus Q radius of anion divided by A Q. You can solve this, you'll get the packing fraction. Is it clear? Any doubt? So you wrote an extra R Q. Sorry? Achha, R I have written extra. Hmm. This one is there. Can should be four four by three pi right? You have written four by Achha, 4 by pi, I have written. Okay. Huh. So it is 4 by 3 pi. Okay. A structure, the crystal of NaCl, I am not drawing. Okay. You know the position of Na plus and Cl minus. Okay. NCRT, all the structures are given. You can see that easily. You can understand it. Okay. So all the examples of rock salt type structure I have done, they all have this kind of arrangement. But here, won't we get a specific value of R plus and R minus like in terms of A? We won't get a range, right? Yeah, we'll get a specific value of that anion because here we have Na plus, no. So Na plus ka R plus value will be fixed. R value will be fixed. Okay. Minus R value will be fixed. So here, see, the range is what? To what extent the void should be there and the arrangement is tetrahedral or octahedral. Okay, for that we have that range. But here we'll have the certain value, specific value of R plus and R minus. Okay, sir. Right. They won't ask you this thing to calculate the packing fraction of ionic crystals. Normally they'll ask in a covalent compounds like where the R value is same. So you don't have this R plus and R minus present over there. We have only R, hence the calculation is easy over there that we did last class. Okay, but if they ask, the method is this one here. Okay. So this is one type of crystal. We call it as AB type ionic compounds. Example is NaCl. The another one, write down. The second type of crystal we have, 
it is cesium chloride type cs cl type structure write down arrangement for this ions are bcc type bcc arrangement we have in this cs plus cs plus ion present present at the body center body center and cl minus at the corners at the corners okay coordination number for each ion write down coordination number for each ion is 8 ion is 8 hence it is called 8 is to 8 arrangement 8 is to 8 arrangement the number of cs plus and cl minus if you count it is one only the number of cs plus ion is equals to it is there in the body center so one the number of cl minus there at the corner so 8 into 1 by 8 equals to 1 hence the formula is CSCl. Okay, since the uh, ions are there at the body center and corners, so along the body center, body diagonal, if you see, the atoms along the body diagonals are in contact. So body diagonal is root three a, which is equals to two r plus plus two r minus equals to root three. example for this type of crystal we have we have csbr csi we can have tcl tlcl tlbr etc this is another type of crystal the third type we have here copy this down third type of crystal it is zinc blend type zns type we also call it as sphalerite type structure zns write down it exist in two different form it exist in two different forms the first one is zinc blend a and the second one is wurzite structure wurzite structure write down first one write down zinc blend it has 
it has fcc or ccp arrangement fcc ccp arrangement the sulfide ion s2 minus forms ccp arrangement means corner and the face center and zn plus 2 zn plus 2 occupy occupy half of the occupy half of the of the tetrahedral void tvs okay the number of sulfide ion if you calculate it is again 4 because it is ccp for zn plus 2 half of the tetrahedral void there are 8 tetrahedral void we have 2 into n last class we discussed since it, it occupies half so this is also 4 and hence the formula is zn s done okay next is each zinc ion zinc ion is surrounded by surrounded by four sulfide ion four s2 minus ion and and vice versa means each sulfide ion is also surrounded by four zinc ion yeah. so here the coordination number is four for each ion and hence it is four is to four arrangement all these are informations basically and this question they ask in the exam okay example for this kind of arrangement example is not that important ag i we have B E S we have this kind of arrangement, okay. C U I, etc. One note you write down: the bond between zinc and sulfur. the bond between the zinc and sulfur has significant has significant covalent character right like i said zn plus 2 present in the half of the tetrahedral void it so it is present in alternate tetrahedral void okay the second type of structure we have in this that is uh, burzite structure one small difference we have in this second structure of this for zite structure write down it has hcp arrangement it has hcp arrangement
so s2 minus it again adopts hcp arrangement and uh, zn plus 2 occupy again here half of tvs half of tetrahedral voids okay arrangement is 4 is to 4 Here also the arrangement is four is to four. Coordination number is same. Okay, so AB type structure molecule, ionic molecule, has these three types of structure possible. Okay, NaCl type, CaCl type, and this zinc blade wurzite type structure. Okay. Now. another one is second type of molecules ab2 type ab2 type molecules we also call it as fluoride structure okay fluoride structure important this fluoride and anti fluoride both are important fluoride structure write down example of this we have very common and important example we have ab2 type so cf2 molecule we'll see the you no know, important points here with respect to this molecule only write down for ca2 plus ca2 plus means all cations of this type of structure this has ccp arrangement first of all ccp arrangement and its coordination number is 8 each ca plus 2 ions is surrounded by 8 f minus ion all these you no know, informations they sometimes they ask question like this which statement is correct for this molecule okay so what we can say each ca plus 2 ion plus 2 ion is surrounded by by 8 f minus ions hence the coordination number is 8 that is what i have written okay number of ca2 plus if you count because it is fcc arrangement so number of ca2 plus is again 4 okay for f minus you see f minus ion it occupies all tvs present in the unit cell all tvs present in the unit cell and that's why the number of f minus ion is equals to 8 this is 8 this is 4 and hence the formula is caf2 right for the crystal the formula is caf2 each f minus ion it's surrounded by 4 ca plus 2 ion so coordination number of this is 4 okay each ca plus 2 ion is surrounded by 4f minus ion hence the coordination number is 4 right what kind of arrangement we'll write down first cation and then anion so it is 8 is to 4 type of arrangement
वन सेकेंड गाइस Yeah, done. So this is the AB two type fluoride structure we have. Okay. Uh, one second. Let me just pause this out. This is annoying. One second, guys. Okay. Okay. This is fluoride structure AB two type. One more type of structure we have, which is exactly opposite to the one that we had discussed, that is fluoride. So this one is fluoride. The another structure is A to B type, the third type of structure. Okay. First one, second one, and the third one is. A to B type. A to B type. This is structure we call it as anti-fluoride structure. Anti-fluoride structure. Okay, everything is just opposite. Means you can see here. The position of cations there in fluoride here becomes the position of anions, and things like that. Okay, so suppose I'm taking one example here of Na2O type. Suppose Na2O, the example I'm taking. So the position of O2 minus ion here, you see, O2 minus ion, it is arranged in CCP manner. CCP arrangement. And each O2 minus ion it's surrounded by surrounded by Four. It's surrounded by sorry eight. Eight Na plus ion. Eight Na plus ion. The number of O two minus here it is again four. Is four. For Na plus you see. Na plus ion present in all tetrahedral void, all tetrahedral void, and each Na plus ion, the coordination number directly I'll write down. For Na plus ion is four, and that's why the molecule or the crystal is called four is to eight type arrangement. Or simply four is to eight arrangement we have, right? Like Li two O, K two O, are this type of structures. Okay.